What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So like we were talking about in the news video, Electronic Arts has now partnered up with GeForce Now to bring more games, starting with four more, Battlefield, Inc Dragon Age Inquisition, Mirror's Edge, and Unravel 2, Apex we already had. And uh, we're going to start this off by checking out Battlefield 1. We'll take a look at the other games as well, but for this video, we're going to start with Battlefield 1. Now remember, with your EA Play or Play Pro subscription, whether it's Steam or Origin, you need to make sure that the game you want to play is added to your library. Like I said, Origin or Steam, Make sure that's added to your library, otherwise it's going to ask you for an activation code. You're not going to be able to get in. As soon as I got into this game, I was reminded just how good this game looks. And it ran really well on PC, and I wasn't surprised how well it was running for me here on GeForce Now. now I want to start by bringing up the uh, rig to show you first. Uh, control all F6 if you're wanting to do this yourself. We're on the 2080D rig here, so I knew I would have no problem being able to play with the settings and stay over 60 FPS here. Control N will bring up your network statistics. So your stream FPS, packet loss, ping, available network um, speeds, and that type of thing. So it can help you troubleshoot or just kind of see how things are running for you there. And we're also gonna we're also gonna go through some options. We're, we're, I think we're on a medium preset right now. I'll double, we'll double check that, and we're gonna change. We're gonna check out ultra and high. And since I don't have an FPS counter that would work accurately here with Origin like I would in Steam or or elsewhere, I'll just have to go by how everything feels here. And I started off with an Xbox uh, Series X controller, and it was it was really good. Uh, this is Bluetooth connected. I don't usually go wired, and the latency was great. It felt really good. But I normally play Battlefield with a keyboard and mouse so I do switch over and that's one thing I love about the Battlefield games especially on PC with GeForce Now or whatever you can switch between keyboard and mouse and controller on the fly you don't have to restart the game or anything or like Call of Duty where you have to pick ahead of time and you can't change it you can just change on the fly so that's a lot of fun and easy to try out and so here we go uh we do we are on auto which was medium for our settings uh which is great i would advise probably just leaving it here the game looks fantastic anyway on medium it's going to run really well for you but i want to see how things go on ultra and high and then i believe high is probably where i'll wind up here now the gpu is one thing but the cpu is another and even as good as these um, data centers and these blades uh, and the service is a uh, CPU is always kind of a weak point with cloud gaming and they're not always geared towards gaming as much so it seems like a lot of FPS holdbacks happens on the CPU side not just for GeForce now but for other services as well but I believe you could run whatever you want to here now in ultra I only noticed a very little difference in drop in frames just from my playing latency input that type of thing you could definitely go ahead and play this game on ultra uh, with no problem from every Thing I could tell but I think just maybe bringing it down to high or even sticking with the medium would give you that overhead and make sure that you didn't wind up with big latency or lag spikes or issues with your frame so we'll switch things down to high here and I'll see how how it's working for me and once everything kind of settles in I could tell it was only slightly better than ultra um you know as far as just how the frames felt it, it smoothed out a few of the little tiny tiny hiccups that i felt but like i said to be honest with this rig on the 2080d i really just had a pretty smooth experience whether i was on medium high or ultra um i think i would just settle on high and i am going to leave it on high for the remainder of the time that i play the game for the rem remainder of this video I'm going to stick with high, but um, if you want to go with, with medium, with the uh, auto, that's fine. If you want to go for ultra, go for it. But just know that you might get some more stutters or frame dips here and there in the game, depending. Um, and I believe that would be more CPU related. But experiment with it. See what works for you. So I also jumped into an online uh, multiplayer match. I didn't play a lot. But I was able to just run around because oftentimes from story mode to multiplayer mode, you're going to get a different performance. You're going to get things run a little bit different because you are online and there's a lot more people on there running around and, and many factors that uh, can change performance. But really, it just felt as smooth and as good as the story. And even though this is a short video that I wanted to make, I played about two hours of Battlefield 1 on GeForce Now to see how it felt between story and multiplayer and I really didn't run into any problems I mostly played that on high played with the settings a little bit more here and there but yeah overall really really good didn't matter multiplayer or story mode or whatever it was great I didn't have any major issues didn't have any major problems with latency the input was fantastic really really good latency uh, for me on this I could even get into multiplayer if I wanted to so 
All right, guys, I think that's pretty much going to do it. I just wanted to talk about my experience with Battlefield 1 on GeForce Now a little bit. Running fantastic. I wasn't too surprised, but I definitely wanted to check it out. If you guys haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, leave me your comment below. Thanks a lot for coming to watch the video as always, and I'll see you in the next one.